All right, so you might have clicked on this because you are intrigued, or you might have clicked on this because you saw my name. You're a top loyal fan who always likes, comments, and subscribes. <laughs> I've had a hard time trying to come up with video ideas recently. Aww. I asked the lovely folk on Twitter for some video ideas, and I got some... I got some responses, like stare at a camera for 10 hours, 10 reasons to watch paint dry, and then some weirdo went on about a mankini. So that's it, lads. We're set for YouTube stardom now. Or a prison cell, if I carry out that last one. I asked my glimmering beacon of light like, girlfriend for some video ideas, and she gave me some solid advice. Your fat lose weight. No, so she actually said, do something you enjoy or are interested in. Other than taking the piss out of food, which is definitely my sort of thing, is there anything else that I am interested in? Animals. Bloody animals, man. I love them. Can't get enough of them. I've got four dogs and a cat. My house is absolute carnage and I wouldn't have it any other way. So that's why we're here right now. Recently, I found out about animals coming back from extinction like this fish, which was thought to have been dead for like millions of years. But turns out it's just living off the coast of South Africa. How mad is that? Sort of gives you hope for megalodons and that, doesn't it? Imagine. Right, so basically, one thing led to another, and I searched on Google if big cats have ever lived in the UK. And, well, they sort of have, they sort of haven't, you know? Basically, from what I found, big cats aren't indigenous to the UK. But, and yes, there is a but, people reckon they've spotted some knocking about. Some absolute big bastards. And we're not talking about Kitty Hitler here. We're talking people of legit seeing Black Panthers and even lions knocking about. So I've gone in search of some evidence. I'm going to assess if what these people are saying is true. Cat review. The first picture I've got to show you is from a fella called Alan Tinkler. He said he was eating breakfast with his children when all of a sudden he noticed a big massive cat in his garden. He takes a couple pictures and he rings the police. I'm not surprised. I'd be straight on the 9992 if I saw a big massive cat in my garden. Now this is unusual, but the picture quality on this is actually really good. This enables us to get a detailed look at this animal and try and identify what it actually is. It looks very cat-like, that's for sure. You can't really mistake that for a dog. Because of its slinky nature, its colour pattern and its uh, big ears, I would say it was a serval. I've seen servals in zoos and while they're big, they're not as big as like tigers, lions or leopards, for example. But still a fair size bigger than your domestic house cat but could this actually be a domestic house cat apparently with cases like this people quite often mistake the identity of what they've just seen with this cat here a bengal cat it's got the same color pattern as quite a few of the bigger cats and in fact it is a crossbreed between a leopard cat and a domestic house cat so what's this in alan's garden is it a bengal cat or is it a serval well funnily enough it turns out it was actually a serval and it was captured later that day how and why was it there you asked someone owned it as a pet and it escaped bit careless like but all right why are people owning servals anyway that got me thinking again so i did a little more digging and in 1976 a new law was put in place which restricted people wanting to own exotic animals you are Literally before this law, you could get any animal you wanted and just keep it as a pet. I'm talking chimps, zebras, big cats, whatever you wanted, you could have it before this law came into place. When this law was put into place though, people had to either surrender their animals or in some cases people let them free into the wild, such as big cats. The struggle then would be if these animals were released, could they survive? And if they could survive, could they breed? Big cats are elusive creatures, so is it all that weird that they could be roaming in the UK somewhere? This lass here, Mary Chipperfield, back in 1978, she was transferring five pumas, or cougars, or mountain lions, or catamounts. Why do they have so many different names? Anyway, she was supposed to transport five pumas to Dartmoor Wildlife Park, but allegedly on the way, she broke down and three pumas escaped. It's also alleged that they didn't actually escape from her transportation, but in fact, she let them go, a breeding pair and another male to keep them company. Sort of bit of a... Bit of a dodgy threesome, innit? Lots of sightings have taken place in the area where these big cats are said to have been released. Bodmin, Exmoor and Dartmoor are the key places here and coincidentally are where the most big cat sightings are often seen. Do you know what? I can sort of get on board with this one. If three were released, that sort of gives good hope that they can survive and breed. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Let's take a look at a few more pictures which have been snapped here. This one here then, it's a big black cat type looking thing. It's got a long tail, but the quality of the picture doesn't really help us. It's hard to say on this one because it could quite easily be a hoax too. So I'm going to give this one 2 out of 10. Alright, so this one is apparently a puma eating... I don't know 
This is the only photo I could actually find of it, and it just sort of looks like a cat eating a bird to me. I'd probably just have to say it was a ginger cat eating a pigeon, and someone's got hysterical about it. Probably a vegan. Three out of ten. Anyway, what do you think? Are big cats roaming around the UK? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you know what? I actually think this is giving me another video idea. One where I actually leave the house. I'm going to go all Steve Irwin up in this bitch and find me a big cat in the wild. Before that though, 10 hours of staring at the camera coming soon. See you later. Well, this is fucking boring, isn't it?